What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and this we're gonna, I'm going to be showing on how to make a suburban house. This is the 48th installment of Suburban House, we're almost at 50, and uh, yeah, I really don't have anything else to say about this one, so with that being said, enjoy the tutorial, and I will catch you on the flip side. Alright, so these space you're going for this is a 22 by 22. I love when it's a square. And the materials you're going to be needing are, to start off, brick blocks, wherever they are. They're somewhere. Um, we'll find them. Which I did. Pillar quartz blocks. Tripwire hooks, or whatever other blocks you want to use to detail the garage. Um, I don't know how many other things we need that are going to be used for right now. So I guess depending on that... I think it's eight or nine. So I would just get the base structure down and then add details later. That would be my decision, but it's up to you. Birchwood planks. White stained glass panes. Sprucewood planks. Sprucewood stairs. Dark oak doors and birch fence now what we have I'm actually going to need a different material because I do want to try something well I've done it before but I stopped doing it for something because I didn't have the block that I needed or that might no I think that was because of modern I think that was my modern house so that I didn't have the block but I did it like once or twice in a suburban house I'm gonna show you I didn't put it on the original either uh, but it's something small that I think does make the house look better. We're actually going to start from the front right hand corner of your 22 by 22 grid cough cough if you made it. You want to count left by one and going left. You want to place four brick blocks. Three spruce wood stairs. Five brick blocks. And then go back with one. Come back to the first brick block that you placed and you want to bring it back by four. You have a little, uh, L, kinda. Or a bracket. A very sloppily drawn bracket. Or L. You don't want to place a birch fence on top of every single brick block here. And then on top of the corners, you want to bring each corner up with two birch fence. Uh, so y since you only have two birch fence here on the left side, I would only bring the front one but forward. But basically, the two corner, the two front hand corners, and the inner corners by the stairs, and then the back corner on the side. The back corner actually you want to bring up by three. Just like that. Then what you want to do is you want to come back to the left side, actually. Or you can, well, I guess you can go to the right side, but it does make a difference. But I'm going to start, I would start from the left side. But you can see, hopefully you can be able to see what the numbers are. That's four, three, four, basically. So if you wanted to start from the right, you could. So, but from the left side, you want to go back with three brick blocks. Back diagonally to the right by one. Right three. Forward diagonally to the right by one. Right with a spruce wood plank, brick block. Back diagonally to the right by one. Right three. Fill in your little uh, kind of B-looking shape and with spruce wood planks. If you do this, it is a B. It, it is a B. A very bad B, but it's still a B. Not the um, the other B. I still have that B in the world, by the way. Um, that from Red Lobster. For those of you who remember that one, I still have that B that I spawned in that video in the world, and I fly by it all the time. <laughs> It's somewhere in that general direction. I don't actually know where it is. I think it's by Pizzeria Simulator, which is on this side of the map. Uh, I've kind of branched it off in two different directions. Like, you can see, I'm at 2,500 right now. So that goes all the way to spawn, and then about 2,500 blocks the other way. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing it in lines. I have a line going that way as well. It's just, I don't know why I'm doing it like that. It's weird. But what you want to do is you want to bring up every single other brick block up with a birchwood plank. And then the one sprucewood plank, it's kind of kind of sticks out. This one in between the two uh, bir birch planks here, you want to bring up with a dark oak door. But 
Yeah, at some point I'm probably gonna change tutorial worlds because this one's very much so getting lengthy. Like, again, because if I'm in the spawn area or at the other side of the map, it is a long fly. Because, like, I was just down that way for, uh, Toys R Us. <laughs> and it was a long fly to get here. Anyways, what you want to do is, uh, bring up this little side row of three birch planks up by two, we'll say. Actually, three. You can go three if you want. Uh, that top row, you actually want to break the front block if you bring it up by three, though. So it's like that. The, the reason that, because the roof, I believe, will go into that. Will it? No, it might not, actually. I might just be dumb. I think I'm dumb, so it doesn't actually matter. So I would leave it. I don't know. We'll see. I don't have a uh, view of that. Then what you want to do is going left to right to right to left on this back section does not matter. You want to place birchwood plank, two white single glass bins, birch plank, four diagonally by one, then skip over the door, right one, or another birch plank, back diagonally one, then two panes, and then a birch plank. Copy that row one more time, except you want to place a birchwood plank over the door. And you want to place a row of birch on top of that. This is kind of where uh, the build, where it gets interesting, because it's it changes shape a little bit here. I know what to do, I'm just going to leave this off for now. Because the next step basically kind of takes this, and it just brings it up, but it doesn't bring it straight up. So we're going to probably build the right wall, and then the back wall? Maybe we'll build back, yeah, we'll build probably back, right wall, back wall, and then we'll go back, come back to the front, and then we'll do the left. Garage will be last, because I don't really feel like doing that right now. You then want to bring the, okay, so come to the back right hand corner, and you want to bring this brick block backward by 14. Then bring it up with a row of birch. And then moving front to back, you want to place birchwood plank. Two white single glass panes. Seven birch planks. Two white single glass panes. Two birch planks. Copy that row one more time. And you want to place four rows of birch on top of that, including the front row. Now, this front block right here. Now, obviously from that front block, you only want to go up by three. So you do want to keep your wall flat. Just like that. So now you can go front to back or back to front, does not matter. You want to place two birch planks. Two white single glass panes. Seven birch planks, two white single glass panes, two birch planks. Copy that row one more time. And you want to place one row of birch on top of that. That's your right wall done, other than the chimney, which, uh, don't let me forget that. Uh, if I do forget it, it's basically just a normal chimney, although there is a little bit of a difference to it. Like, it's just like that chimney, or the, not that chimney, actually, I lied. It's just like that chimney. But it is a little bit different at the bottom, which you can actually see. Uh, I don't know, I'm trying to make them a little bit more, kind of realistic. Alright, what you want to do is you then want to bring this brick block here at the bottom, left by four. Place a spruce wood plank, and then after that spruce wood plank, you want to place nine brick blocks. Just like that. Then going, okay, so right to left from the front of the build, left to right if you're at the back, you want to just place four birch planks, dark oak door, nine birch planks. Then, again, going from the from the bill wall towards the open side is what I'll say, because that seems to be something I like to say for some reason. You want to place two white single glass panes, two birch planks, skip over the door, 
two birch blanks, two white singlass pins, two birch blanks, two white singlass pins, and one birch plank. You'll notice this wall goes further than that wall. You can see it goes into the garage. Oh, uh, that's that's because the top floor. This isn't actually the first house I've done this on. I don't remember which one it was. But there was a house that I did the same thing before. Watch it be the one literally to our left. No, it isn't. But I basically... Because I, I extend it left more than this. And since the garage... Or since it goes further back than the garage does... It has to kind of overhang it like that. You don't want to copy that row one more time, except you want to place a birch plank over the door. You pretty much always want something over the door. And then you want to place four rows of birch on top of that. Now, this is where it will get interesting. Because the top is a little bit different. Special. And it's actually the same on the front and the back. So if you want to go ahead and do it, you can. Um, the reason I had to do it this way on the front, I'll talk about that later, but it just has to do with the fact that the size wasn't what I wanted it to be, and I didn't realize that until it was too late, so I just went with it, and it looks fine in my opinion. Then going, again, same way from this wall towards, uh, literally nothing, you want to place two white singles pins, birch blank, three white singles pins, birch plank, two white singlass pins, two birch planks, two white singlass pins, birch plank. Copy that row one more time. Don't place the row of birch on top though, because that's where it gets a little bit different. And then again, going from the same way from this wall to nothing, you want to place three birch planks, Three white singlass pins and eight birch planks. Now you have the white singlass pins. They're basically directly up against nothing now. You want to bring those three white singlass pins up with a birch plank, and then you want to extend the birch planks left and right by one. Just like that. Uh, that is how it is on the front. Again, I'll talk about that once we get to the front. A little bit more, but uh, what you want to do then is from the dark oak door, the spruce wood plank below it, you want to bring out an additional spruce plank and then surround it in spruce wood stairs. Just like that. Then what you want to do is you want to come to the back left hand corner wall and you want to bring the brick block and birch planks all forward by two. This is just going to kind of close off this area. I figured I'd get this out of the way, but yeah. Now it's time for the front. You want to bring the two window sections up with three rows of birch. The door section leave as is. We're turning this from um, whatever it is right now to a flat wall. Uh, I did this because this is three blocks right here. And I didn't want a... Cause I, and, and I couldn't make this work with a two block window so that everything would line up as I wanted. And I didn't want to do a one block window. Because I was thinking just push it back into a two block window and have it like normal. But I wanted the windows to line up. So I actually just made a flat three block window, which I don't usually do. So, yeah. And then at this top row of birchwood planks here, the, the third row that you brought up, you can connect at the top. And also, I would extend it left by four. Then, going right to left on top of this, you want to place two white singlass pins, birch plank, three white singlass pins, birch plank, two white singlass pins, two birch planks, two white singlass pins, birch plank. Copy that row one more time. And then going right to left on top of that, you want to place three birch blanks, three white singlass pins, if I can place it, and eight birch planks. 
You then want to bring these three white single ass panes up with a birch plank each in an extended left and right by one. Just like that. That looks really weird, actually. It almost looks 3D if you look at it. Well, that, that part is 3D. But just, I don't know. If you, like, quickly glance at it or look at it from a side view, it looks 3D. I have no idea. Anyways. We're going to start from the front here. I don't really know how else to describe this. But you want to come to this first row of birch here that is the four block tall run one. You can see this right here. The brick block below it, you want to bring left by one. Back diagonally to the left with a sideways pillar quartz block. Left by four. Four diagonally to the left with a brick block and then left by one. You want to bring the brick blocks up with two birch and the pillar quartz blocks up with two pillar quartz. Make sure it is sideways. At the bottom center of the garage, you want to place a trip wire hook. That should be gone, actually. Yeah. And then you want to place a row of birch on top of all of that. Now, you want to make sure it is a flat row so it does not go directly on top of the garage door. Just like that. Then come to the left side and you want to bring this brick block here back by 14. And then right by 4. And bring it up with 3 rows of birch. I was just thinking about it when I was talking about uh, like why I kind of made it flat like that. It's kind of nice I guess. Like The reason I do that is so you guys can kind of have like a perspective of what goes through my head while I'm trying to build these things. Because... Obviously, well, it's not the most useful thing for some people. Like, if you, I guess if you use it, sometimes, if you, I guess if you look at it, like, I guess it puts a different perspective out there for, like, why it looks as it is, as it does. Alright, so, what you do want to quickly do before this next step is, you want to come to the left wall here, and you want to basically take this bottom birch plank, and you want to connect it back. The bottom, from the front left-hand corner. You then want to, on top of this going front to back, you want to place two white single glass panes, two birch planks, two white stained glass panes, birch plank, two white single glass panes, two birch planks, and two white single glass panes. You will have to break some birch planks for that, sir. I forgot about the window there. You then want to copy that row one more time, and again, you still do have to break some planks. Be nice if I could place the blocks. There we go. And then you want to place a row of birch on top. Just like that. Now, let's move on to the next step. Now, you can get rid of pretty much everything except for your birch. And I would also keep your brick block, but you can shove it at the back of your inventory. Yeah, you can. And you want to get out smooth court stairs. Smooth quartz blocks. Smooth quartz slabs. Deep slate brick stairs. Deep slate bricks. Nope, it doesn't want to get it for some reason. Uh, deep slate brick slabs, and I guess we will go with brick stairs. You also need smooth stone slabs. Uh, I'm not forgetting the chimney, which is good. Where are brick stairs? There they are. Alright, and once you get, once you have your materials, what you basically want to do is, you want to come to the garage, and from the left side of the garage, you want to place a row of smooth quartz stairs up diagonally, outward by one, and it wants to overhang the front and the back by one. We're going to just place some placeholder rows for a moment here, and then we will actually get building up roofs. You then want to place a smooth quartz stair on top of every single birch fence here on the front. And then you want to connect those smooth quartz stairs together. And what you want to do from the front is 
you want to bring the smooth quartz stair back with a smooth quartz block. The left, the far left smooth quartz stair wants to be brought back with a smooth quartz block. Left with an offset on smooth quartz stair. Up with a smooth quartz stair. Left with a smooth quartz block. Left with an offset on smooth quartz stair. Up with a smooth quartz stair. Left with a smooth quartz block. Left with a smooth quartz stair. Down with an offset on smooth quartz stair. Left with a smooth quartz block. Left with a smooth quartz stair. Down with an upside down smooth quartz stair, and then left with a smooth quartz block. That will connect those two roofs together, and they will uh, merge a little bit more later. What you want to do from the right side, though, of this row is you just want to bring it back with a smooth quartz block. Upside down smooth quartz stair. Up with a smooth quartz stair. Back with a smooth quartz block. Back with an upside down smooth quartz stair. Up with a smooth quartz stair. And then... <laughs> What you did here at the front of the garage, you want to kind of do at the back. So you actually only have to go up, it doesn't matter. So this back stair, uh, uh, block, upside down stair, up with a stair, uh, right with a block, right with an upside down stair, up with a stair, right with a block. And it only has to go to there. Basically just bring it straight into the wall. Now. You can fill in these two roofs with okay what you actually want to do is the first row of um deep state bricks that you're supposed to place here at the front of the over the porch you want to actually place a row of upside down deep state brick slabs as you can see just like that and don't place the upside down stairs like we normally do i made this one a little bit different and then you just want to basically connect the roofs together so after that row of upside down slabs bring our stairs all the way left and it should connect to that stair then bring the blocks all the way left, and they should connect to this block. And then this row of stairs should connect to this row of stairs. And then the block, and basically everything from that point left should connect. Or left from that point should connect just front and back. With its proper deep sleep block, or its respective deep sleep block, I should say. Or not block, you get the point. Respective deep slate material, that's better. And at the front and back of your garage, you do want to fill in this little section in with... You want to fill in this little section with birch blanks. Just like that, and then the same at the back. It's all coming together. Almost done. And then, that row of upside down deep side brick slabs that we placed. You want to... Okay, you did need that block, sorry. You want to bring it back by three rows where you can you basically want to bring it all the way back until it touches a wall uh could be this little front sticky out section or could be a different wall and then that should be your the roof of your porch done and then at the right side here you will have a little gap in here that will uh, show you into the porch roof as you can see you just want to place a deep slate brick block in there and that will close everything off just like that Now it's time for the big boy roof. You want to place a row of smooth quartz stairs that is up diagonally, forward and backward from that front and back row of birch planks, and it wants to overhang either side by one. But, where you have this section of five, you want all five birch planks exposed. And what you want to do is the actually the last stair that we place you want to curl it inward, or curl it forward or backwards, whichever direction it's supposed to be. Just like that. So it has basically full clearance. And then again here, it should curl in, and then same with here. And you don't want any stairs uh, encrypt and encroaching on any of those blocks at the moment. But then once you have done that, you want to you do want to connect either stair. You want to bring those four uh, inner stairs in with an upside down smooth quartz stair. Up with a smooth quartz stair. This is only on this front and back section that's in the middle of the roof. In with an upside down smooth quartz stair. Up with a smooth quartz stair. And then inward with an upside down smooth quartz stair facing forward. With a, and then place a smooth quartz slab on top. Just like that. 
and then do this whatever you did at the front you want to do at the back and the left and the right are a little bit different because I don't like super steep roofs <laughs> like if this if the roof itself is steep I don't care but when it's a certain when the like because how long this build is it's not super long it's only 15 blocks but when you have it that when you when you do have it 15 blocks a normal roof looks really awkward especially on a house this small like okay this house isn't small let me rephrase that a house like a house this um i guess a house that isn't super tall like again that this is like this is still a good without the roof it's still a good uh whatever that math is 12 blocks tall um but 12 isn't a lot for a roof that would end up being, I want to say, 8. Like, your roof will almost double your house size if you do it just normal stairs. Which is why what I did instead is from every single corner you want to bring it in with a block of quartz. Up, sit on smooth quartz stair. Up with a smooth quartz stair. In order with a smooth quartz block. In order with an up, sit on smooth quartz stair. Up with a smooth quartz stair. In order of the smooth quartz block. And then you want to keep this pattern going. Until you have. Th what I did was three smooth quartz blocks. In between two stairs. And those said blocks. Want to be a half a block taller. Than the other roofs. So as you can see this says 24. This should say 23 yes. And this is a half slab. So it is 23 and a half. And then the other one is just straight up 24. So that that is how they register subs. They round down for some reason. When technically they should round up. So technically that should be twenty two and a half, but I know it's twenty three and a half. Because if I am I if like if I were to start on the stair right at the top of the stair, you can see wait watch. Twenty two, twenty two, twenty three, twenty three. This I guess this is on twenty three still though. So I mean that does make sense, but still. And then what you want to do is you want to fill in all four little sections, which those two aren't very little, in with birchwood planks here on the sides because no one wants to see into your attic. And then um, fill in the roof because, well, you don't want water damage in your attic either. That's about as bad. Actually, that's probably worse. <laughs> People just staring at in your attic or... Um, Getting literal water damage in your attic. That I, I, I don't think that's comparable at all. <laughs> but yeah, and then, again, if you don't know how to connect these. The way that I would do it is basically from all four areas. Just from that row of stairs in front of it. Just place a row of blocks directly behind it. Then wrap the blocks in stairs. Basically bring the stairs. Because, like, it'd be a row. It's obviously a row behind it and a row above it. Or, like, up diagonally back. And then it will have to... And it will just overhang by one and then connect forward. And then that will make the next row of blocks one block longer. And then the row of slabs can just split the gap once you have this row of stairs. And also the row of blocks which will just go directly behind it this time. Which actually is how it always goes. So even once you get the top row, instead of the stairs connecting forward to the slabs, the slabs will connect back to the stairs. Which technically you could look at it as the stairs are connecting back to the other stairs, but <laughs> I guess that's not the way I work. And then if you're really daring, then you can actually start from the top on the back and then work down, which is what I did originally because, yeah, why not? I mean, it's a fairly simple roof. It's basically, it's just basic. It's what I build all the time. Well, I feel like it is easier, even if, like, you know 100% what you're doing. I feel like it is easier just to start from the bottom and work up. Because you have to either place your, like, your stairs just kind of on nothing, or your blocks. And then you have to, like, double back and do the stairs when you... When normally, if you just place... Actually, no, I guess either way, you kind of have to double back a little bit. Ah, uh, no, not really, because... Well... Yeah, you do have to double back either way for the, for going, uh, down to, or up to down, and then from down to up, you don't. Because if you go like that, and you have to go there or there, if you go like that, well, I guess, no, if you go like that, you could go there, so. I guess they're pretty much the same. 
But, um, yeah, well, why don't you, actually, no, that is not it. So you wanna, you can clear your inventory and get out brick block, brick stairs, and smooth stone slabs. You're lucky I remembered. <laughs> And you want to come to the left side, and you basically want to find the three middle birch planks in between the two windows. It shouldn't be that hard. There's just a, there should be a two block up on either side. And then you want to place a brick stair in the center one, and the, or an upside down brick stair in the center one. And then you want to bring it forward and backward by one, but curl it in when you do that. Just like this. You then want to bring those three stairs. They're kind of like a ledge. You want to bring them up with brick blocks until they are like. Yeah, two blocks will say higher than your roof. It doesn't, there's no set number. I just said two because why not? And then you do want to bring those overhanging ones forward. Or left by a row, sorry. And then place a row of brick stairs on top of these that curl around and kind of make it like smaller at the top. And then you do want to place a row of, or I guess a section of smooth stone slabs on top of that. And that will give you more of a chimney effect. Um, I really like using this effect. In case you can't tell, I've already used it, like, since I started using it. Since I, like, the first time I thought of doing this, I've used it every time. Which might only be twice. No, it'd be, I think there'd be at least three. Because I don't feel like that, unless I made a... Oh, probably a cottage, I used it. Cottage didn't have a chimney. I don't know. Oh, the mansion, that's what it was. But once you're done, ladies and gentlemen, that is, uh, I don't know the number, actually, because, uh, intro. I record the intro after. <laughs> that is your suburban house complete. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you have any suggestions for any tutorials, tutorials feel free to leave them in the comments. And, um, yeah, have a fantastic day and night. I will see you on the next one. Peace.